Hi, good morning everybody. It's Craig the Computer Geek here with this week's Tech Tip Tuesday coming from the seventh hole at uh, Capital Golf Club. Uh, just a quick reminder before I start uh, about our promotion. Uh, take us a photo with the sign standing sort of similar to what I'm doing here now. Uh, post it on our Facebook page and give us a call with the keyword birdie seven. And if you purchase a new custom built computer or laptop, you'll get a free copy of Microsoft Office 365 to go with that. All right, now for this week's tech tip. So uh, I wanted to uh, try and demystify uh, some of the, uh, I, I guess, the, the misinformation uh, around uh, cloud storage uh, and, and what it is. Um, basically, cloud storage just means that uh, the storage is stored remotely, not on your own computer. So um, typically, we, we're looking at uh, a server uh, or a rack of servers that uh, live in a data center, uh, which is uh, secure, has security guards, it has uh, air conditioning and fire safe systems, uh, the whole uh, box and dice, uh, fully redundant power supplies, fans and, and drives and so on. So um, your data is pretty secure and um, it's highly, highly unlikely that uh, anything's physically going to happen to it. Unfortunately, we can't say the same about uh, data on a, a local drive uh, because they do have, um, unfortunately, a limited lifespan and um, traditional hard drives are, are usually the first component to go uh, on a computer. So for your precious data, you know, documents, photos, emails, uh, etc., etc., um, the best thing to do is to keep your master copy on cloud storage. Now, the good thing about Office 365 is that uh, you get a one terabyte um, subscription to OneDrive that comes uh, with the, uh, the, the Office 365 subscription. So for most people, uh, unless they're photographers or working with very large files, uh, one terabyte is probably, um, probably enough for most people. Uh, so um, you do have that uh, there and it functions uh, just like like a normal drive. Uh, it, typically you would also keep a, an offline copy of that on your local hard drive or, or SSD but um, with the master copy being on a solid state, uh, being on a cloud drive uh, or in cloud storage I should say, it means that um, it's not tied to any one particular device so you can uh, connect from your iPad or your Galaxy phone or your laptop or your desktop or, or whatever it is you can connect to your data uh, just with the, um, the account name which is your email address uh, and a secure password and so then you have uh, access uh, to your data wherever you've got an internet connection and um, it is secure it is backed up uh, and frankly it is the way things are going so um, hopefully I have demystified uh, that a bit for you. Certainly the um, advantages of cloud storage uh, certainly outweigh any disadvantages or, or perceived disadvantages. So uh, if you've got any questions about cloud storage or any other um, tech questions for that matter, uh, drop us a line uh, on our Facebook page at Craig the Computer Geek or on Twitter, uh, hashtag Craig Computer Geek, Craig Comp Geek, sorry, uh, or subscribe to our um, YouTube channel as well. So. Um, yeah, we love to, to hear from you and uh, yeah, it's uh, always good to, uh, yeah, to get these questions because I, I do love answering them, so keep them coming. Uh, so that's uh, Craig the Computer Geek signing off for this week, so uh, have a great week and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>